It is Sunday, August 27th, 12.52 p.m. It is, it is the day after um, Walter, Rob, and I came out here to try to cook on the um, barbecue grill to make shish kebabs. And we saw that the camp looked like it was somewhat messed up. And we came by here and actually found that the logbook had been signed by the property owner. <laughs> so we're kind of waiting to see what happens because Rob is trying to uh, get in touch with him tomorrow, Monday. To see if we can talk him into working something out so that we don't have to dismantle the camp. And that's what's happening. So right now I'm actually here with just me and Walter. And we're going to go look at the yurt to start to take some items out. Because I had some items that are on hold. And um, Walter is actually kind enough that he's um, renting his house out for me to use for at least six months. And I'll be talking about that in another episode. But... Um, the timing of everything is just unbelievable how everything's all happening pretty much at the same time and in the sequence that it is. So today I'm here to pick up a couple items to take out of here in the event that we have to dismantle the place. But even if we don't, I do need those items anyways. There are items that I left at the, um, the yurt. And, oh man, I forgot to bring the, um, the tarp to repair the holes. Oh. Yeah, we meant to buy tarps to repair the holes that are out there, and I forgot that, so I may have to make another trip out of here. But there were some leaks that had formed, so I'm going to have to try to deal with those. Um, maybe. Watch out for snakes or something maybe under there. So we might try to use this um, this blue thing. Maybe I'll cut it with scissors. Just Yeah, I'll get scissors and we'll just cut the, um, the bottom part to try to repair the holes that are... Um, on the yurt itself. I meant to go by Dollar Tree and pick up two more tarps and forgot. So we're here to try to repair the leaks and um, take a couple items back out of here and await what happens on Monday with Rob and the property owner. Uh, here we are. <laughs> He's trying to hide here. <laughs> this is Walter. He uh, helped me cut this out here from the pool here. You know, if you've been following the series and you know this pool's been sitting here for a year and we didn't know what to do, and maybe that's why this pool was here, because now we actually have a nice, decent size um, covering that we're going to try to use to fix the hole that is leaking at the yurt right now. And what's funny is it's blue, like the uh, the tarp already. So yeah. we're going to take it back there to do some repairs, and we're going to see if we can't um, fix those holes as well as bring out some of the items that I've been holding there. So we're going to head out here. Come join us. So this is my first time actually having an assistant out here and my son to help haul materials. Let me pick that up so we don't put holes in it while we're going through here. So we're going to try to make our way to the yurt with the patch. And I don't know about you guys, but as I was telling Walter, you know, I'm eagerly trying to, awaiting to see what happens with the landowner. <laughs> You guys that have kept asking, you know, if I own the land or what would happen if the owner showed up and well, we're about to find out. So I'm as much in the dark as you are. Okay, we're getting ready to go buy Yurt 1.0 with the collapsed roof. And getting ready to hit Yurt 2.0. And um, to the left, <laughs> he's a little lost here. <laughs> and we're gonna have to fix this roofing because this roof is like, look at this roofing material. It's like totally uh, ripped apart. I don't know, I think it was the wind, truly. I'm looking at this, I think it got super windy. But it looks like. And I actually may have to cut this into several pieces and we can try to patch it. But, um, yeah, the roof definitely has um, leaks in it. And we were here yesterday and it was actually raining. The good news is this, though, the floor didn't flood. But I am going to try to clean up some of this material and take it with me, take it back out. The water dripping here. Let's see, water has collected up here. So, oh, it's leaking. So uh, let me go ahead and clean up here and uh, see if we can't get this place repaired before it starts raining again. 
just wanted to show you guys the handiwork that um, Walter and I did to repair the roofing. We took the pool and we covered this big hole here with it. You know, the, the, the bottom of the pool unit. And I had an extra, um, I think I'm going to have to tie this down over here a little bit. But I had an extra piece of um, tarp material that I put down. And you can see the wind here ripping at everything again. This stuff is very brittle. So if the yard is to be saved, I'm going to have to come up with canvas or some other material. I don't think any um, tarp material is going to withstand the Florida sun. After seeing how brittle they actually became, they were like as brittle as paper. It's like you touch them and they kind of, see look, see how they fell apart so quickly? You just sort of look, see, they crumble. They literally crumble. So, um, note to self and to everybody else planning on building a tarp yurt, don't. Uh, maybe use canvas or cloth or some of the material that may, but even cloth may. The sun is just harsh in Florida. Now this pool material may actually last longer. It is a thick plastic. So whether or not all this is even going to stay intact remains on what happens with Rob and the owner of the land. He's going to try to meet with him and talk with him and see if they can't work out some kind of deal. So timing of um, Walter and Rob showing up when they did was just amazing. You know, God is um, interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and um, take some of my personal materials out of here because um, Walter is renting me his house on a kind of like a semi-rental house sitting thingy. I'm going to be watching his house while he's um, back up north for about five, six months or more, which will give me at least six months of reprieve to breathe. And um, there's some episodes there that will be very interesting, so look forward to those. Um, Robert is like extremely kind. So, um, and there's just been a lot of interesting um, coincidences or synchronicities and things that have occurred uh, with regards to um, Walter and Rob and um, the situation. So I'll be talking a little bit more about that in another episode. But in the meantime, it looks like um, our checkup on the yurt shows that the, um, the vines that we planted are indeed growing on their own. This one here is alive and growing. I am going to pick up the pool, not the pool, but the shower area, and then just pick up my items and then head out and call it a day. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, everybody, I hope you are having a great day.